Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a screen shake effect. So you guys can make something like this where it is a really big shake and there's a lot of screen shaking. Or you guys could also make something that has a slight screen shaking effect. And I'll show you guys how to do this and also make a module out of this. Okay guys, so I have this local script set up. You need to do this on a local script because it runs on the client and um, it is only showing up for one player. So we're not going to be in a server script today. You want this to be in a local script. So how do you make the screen shaking effect? Well, what we are first going to do is get the player. So, um, so I'm going to say variables. We are going to say player game. We can easily get the player by saying game.players.local player. We are then going to say local start time is equal to os.time. Okay, and then what we are going to say is repeat, uh, press enter, and then Roblox should have the until there. So we're going to say repeat, task.wait, and then until. Uh, we're going to get to this, but I'm going to say end time, or not end time. Wait, yeah, I'm getting that confused. So just wait, we're going to put task.wait. And then we are going to have end time. Again, that can mixed up. So OS dot time. We are then going to say local x offset equals math dot random negative fifty. Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to start with a hundred. Negative a hundred, a hundred divided by five hundred. You want to do the same thing for all offsets. So x offset. Y offset and then the Z offset. Okay, and then we're gonna say player dot character find first child humanoid dot camera offset equals vector three dot new and you're gonna put in your X offset, your Y offset, and your Z offset. Alright guys, so the reason why this has been airing the entire time is because we need to have an until. So until uh, end time minus start time is greater than or equal to and what you're going to put here is the amount of seconds that you want the screen shake to last so I'm going to put 10 so or maybe 5 so this is why in the next part of this video I'm going to be uh, showing you guys how to make a module script uh, out of this so you can call this from anywhere and you can put in your own time it's a lot simpler so I'm just showing you guys how to get this started but uh, yeah, and then we're going to go down and say player, character, find first child. We're saying the humanoid again, dot camera offset. That's what makes it get the screen shake effect equals vector 3.new. And we're setting it back to as it was regularly, which is 0, 0, 0. And by the way, guys, I'm going to wait a few seconds so we can actually see it when it happens. So I'm going to say three seconds and then uh, play the game and we should see the screen shake. So we join into the game after three get three seconds and there you go. That is the big shake and I only it seemed like it didn't last for that long, but I said it's a five. Uh, ah, okay guys, so I know why it only lasted a few seconds. That is because we need to put the start time under the the wait. So I'm just gonna put that. Make sure guys that you have the start time immediately before the repeat starts. So then there's no uh, in between time. So if you play the game, it'll last for longer. This is the big screen shake effect. And next, I'll show you guys the values to make the smaller one like I showed you guys uh, at the beginning of the video. So there you go. That's the big screen shake effect. Okay, guys. So to make it have a smaller screen shake effect, you want to change all these values to 50. So negative 50, 50, and do that for all of these. And then what you're dividing this by is you're going to divide it by 800. Okay, and that'll just make it so it's smaller, has a smaller screen shake. So let me play the game again, and a few seconds go by. As you can see, it's a uh, it's uh, not as noticeable, and I think I prefer this one better because it's just not as noticeable. It looks better, but yeah, uh, that's how you make the screen shake effect. If you guys just want a quick rundown of how this works, in my other video, I made an OS library tutorial, 
And so that's what we're getting here, the amount of seconds since uh, January 1st, 1970 to determine the time. Um, we're getting the start time. We are then repeating. Uh, so we're going to keep repeating this code right here until the end time, which we have here, minus the start time is greater than 5. So that's determining 5 seconds. And this is our offset, uh, the amount of offset we want to have on the player's character. And when we go into the game, the character's humanoid has a thing called the camera offset. So humanoid. And there's a thing called the camera offset, which is right here. All right, so we set that to zero. You know, nothing happens. That's the regular. But if we had zero comma ten comma zero, well, our offset is off. See that our camera, it's it's off. So that's how we control the camera to make it have the screen shake effect is because of the camera offset, and we move that like a whole bunch of times every second, so it makes the screen shake effect work. So guys, let's turn this into a module so it can be actually really useful where you can call this code from any script and you don't have to copy and paste it wherever you want to uh, have a screen shake effect like I had in my module script video. This would be a good case of this. So let's get right into it. So guys, you want to make a new module script and replicated storage. Call this, uh, I'm just going to say screen shake. All right, and then in the module, we're going to have a function. Oh, hold on, let me add a little bit. Zoomed in a little bit too far. So I'm going to make two functions. Module dot small shake. So obviously that'll be for the small shake. And function uh, big shake. Because, you know, you guys might want to use one or the other in certain cases. So I'm going to be using the both of those. But I'm going to actually... Uh, make the small shake function first and then I'll copy it so for now we're gonna we're gonna have this then we need the character so the character because you know we need the characters humanoid to have the offset on that is going to be a model comma and then a duration so we can set the amount of seconds we want the uh, you know the screen shake to be that's gonna be a number all right so I'm going to add a little security check here by saying if character is equal equal to nil or duration is equal to nil, then return end. Just a little security check. And then we're going to make a new thread by t saying task.spawn. Like I, I gave in it, uh, I showed you guys in a task library tutorial. So task.spawn, it's creating a new thread and you're immediately firing it. This is because if you have any code under the call, here, I'll, I'll show you guys that in a little bit, but this is useful. Task spawn is crucial in this. All right, and then, then we're going to say local start time, OS, so go to OS.time. Whoops. And then here's our repeat loop. Actually, I think we probably could just copy and paste this, so let me just copy and paste this. Okay, guys, so when you copy in the code, uh, we have a little error that says player.character, so you should need to change this to character. And then there you go. Now, again, this is the small shake, so we're going to create the function for the big shake. So copy all this, go down a little bit, and then say big shake. And you need to change these values here to, what did I have? Okay, it was 100. It was 100. Paste all that there. Those are for the big shake. And then 500. Yeah. And there we go. Oh, I forgot to do another thing, guys. Put duration in for this 5 or whatever you have here. So that'll make it so it, it's uh, with a duration. So there you guys go. Now, instead of having to copy and paste this code over and over again in every script that you want the effect, all you have to do is require the module. So... Up here, you would say local screen shake is equal to require game, power of case storage, wait for child, screen shake. Down here, screen shake dot, and you can decide either small shake or big shake. Um, you guys can't see it right now, but um, hold on, guys. 
so now um when i when i say screen shake dot there you guys you can you can see the small shake and big shake so those are our options we can have there so i'm gonna say small and we can put in our player dot character and our duration which i can just say five again and again it works the same exact way go into the game it's gonna wait three seconds and there we go it's very useful to have in your guys' games after five seconds it ends and yeah guys that was today's video if this video did help you guys uh, you know if you learned something from this video or you guys just enjoyed it please hit the like button and the subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next video peace